Today it's live final championship match coverage of the WGC Cadillac match play, part of the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Cool weather continues in the city of San Francisco, although we are seeing just a bit of welcome sunshine as this five day match play trek through the beautiful cypress trees of TPC Harding Park is down to its final championship match. Both finalists now in their seventh match in five days. An exercise in perseverance physically and mentally as world number one makes his way to the tee at the par five first. As you take a look at our titleist bracket brought to you by the number one ball in golf just a couple of moments away from McElroy Woodland 2015 to decide the WGC Cadillac match play consolation match already underway between Furick and Willett but all the focus right now on the two combatants. The long hitting Woodland against McElroy, who of course can move it out there as well, Johnny. It's just a matter of who's got the game and who's got the finishing touch to finish this off. Let's get the announcement now on the tee at one. The players in the championship match are from Northern Ireland, Rory McElroy. And from the United States, Gary Woodland. <laughs> Mr. McElroy has the honor. Play away, please. Second championship appearance, as we mentioned earlier, in the last four match play starts. But looking to finish this off and get his first match play title. Looking T-shirt, moving a little bit to the left side. Needs a straight hop, I think. So McElroy finds the rough off the tee, and here is Gary Woodland, who feels very confident on this golf course. Just his third appearance in this championship. First championship appearance after being ousted in the first round both times previously, and now he's got world number one in his sights. This should be good. Left center. Yeah, that is perfection. He needs a good start. He needs to hang with Gary for the first six holes. He cannot be too down because he might get run over. And Rory is making a lot of birdies. They're both making a lot of birdies. But the big difference between the two, Rory's only made four bogeys all week, and Woodland's made 16. Close, I don't think it's really an issue. His usual shot shape's a little right to left anyway, so I don't think it poses any difficulty. One thing to look for today, folks, is a lot of shots by Rory are going right. And the short irons have not been any better than a C on a, a rating. Yet here he is. Yeah, I mean, he can win with his C plus game. That's scary. That's on a good line. <coughs> Yeah, that's a good shot. He's made six birdies and eight tries on this hole. That's that's <laughs> the good start that we were talking about that Woodland normally has had. I know he lost the hole to Willett earlier today. Is this a little right or is it okay? Yeah, this is right of the hole. Ooh, ooh. Yep, bounce through the rough, and Woodland is aboard in two. He got away with it, and that was a nice shot. Early advantage for Gary Woodland. Taking on number one ranked Rory McElroy, championship match of the Cadillac match play. Back to the championship match at the first, third for McElroy, staring it down here. Very straightforward pitch shot. Shouldn't have much trouble. Should bite right there. Yeah, that was for him just like a walk in the park. And a lengthy one here that's going to turn right to left. Some. Assume it's a little slow, Roger. Yeah, a little slow. It's a little uphill in the area of the hole, though. It kind of dips away, but uh, yeah, overall, I think it's uh, going to be on the slower side. <laughs> a 
Looks like he gave it plenty of speed. That's where it dips away. Yeah, he gave it a good rep for sure. So a little tester coming back for birdie for Woodland to have the hole. Well, for the first time, he's not going to win this opening hole. He's got, you know, no reservations about walking in there. Wants to see the fight. He's going to watch it with uh, Jimmy Roberts and company. That was a nice touch with the pizza. Champagne Tony Lima's from across the bay, and I grew up with him. And uh, he uh, gave the press champagne, and he got a lot of mileage out of that. <laughs> Second hole today, playing 207 yards. And John, that prevailing wind from still, right please. to left. Roger, looks like. Uh, Five iron for McElroy. Yes, I think Mark Rolfing had it right, uh, saying the wind is as strong as it's blown all day, maybe the strongest it's blown all week. Coming from the right, five iron holds 207. It tells me it's going to be a cut against the wind, left to right, trying to fight the wind. Small target with that crosswind. Uh, the wind's winning the battle and moving it over to the left center of the green. Yeah, still safe play on the green. I think it's excellent. I don't know about you, Peter. Yeah, Just no, it's fine. This a, is a three here will win it, you know, every other time darn near. This guy seems to find whatever he needs whenever he needs it. Just right now. Woodland now. He's got a six iron. Well, this is hit much higher. Oh, it's on a good line if the distance is good. Oh. Oh, short. Just short. Got that front bunker. We'll have to take a look at the lie. He's got a lot of room to work with, though, coming out of the bunker. Uh, he's got plenty of green to work with. I think it'll move maybe a little to his left. Once it breaks into a roll, if it does, a lot of spin on it. Still pretty good shot. To about four feet. Laurie now with this very long putt for birdie. The hill here, most of the way. <laughs> you kind of almost expect anything from this guy at this point. Woodland now for his par. Would have been a big confidence boost making that putt back at one and then that one right there. You know, that opens the door for McElroy. Oh. Not done yet. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. That was nice. After missing a three footer, John, I might make my opponent hit the next one. that to be good based on his reaction and it was catches that little down slope and is out there very nicely a little tougher driving hole though for Gary Woodland uh, Raj since he likes to work the ball left to right uh, definitely goes against the flow of the hole yeah, well, he's gone to the far right side of the tee to accommodate that cut but the wind is hurting in from the right so I agree a tougher drive for him This is going left. Ooh, that's going to catch uh, big cypress trees over there. There is out of bounds. Yeah, there's out of bounds just left of those trees. Not sure if it ricocheted left or not, or it stayed up in the tree. It is a possibility. That was a pretty gnarly looking tree, the one he hit. Fine. We'll have to wait and see where uh, 
Woodland's tee shot ended up there. McElroy, it appears, with a huge advantage. The match all square through two in the championship of the Cadillac match play. Yeah, Ooh, he got yeah. it through there, but just made dead contact. It's coming right back to him, right at his feet. That's hard to do right there. That ball came back 45 yards back right to where it started almost. That's almost a laugher. He's laughing about it. I mean, you got a round tree, Roger. What's the odds of it coming right to back to your feet? Yeah, you can see trying to play the low cut, trying to get the ball to get right of that one tree, and it just doesn't do it. It's like a trick <laughs> shot yeah, it really. that should be on YouTube. I mean, you could hit a thousand balls and couldn't do that again. Well, now let's see if he can hit a low hook. He's got the lie for it. All right. Got the low part, but it's going to be right. Yeah, tough shot for a guy who's been working hard on trying to move the ball the other direction. I would look for this to be at the center of the green, and if the move, wind moves it over a little bit, fine. But the center of the green would be pretty tasty right now. Is it turning, Raj? It is turning some. It's at the very right side of the green. Well, it's on, but it is a long way from the hole. No guaranteed two putt there. Roy a little mystified that that ball didn't carry farther. Gary Woodland in some trouble. Advantage to McElroy there at the third. Here at the third, Gary Woodland now playing his fourth shot. with all about controlling how the ball comes out of the rough. And done pretty well, so uh, a chance to make a five, and uh, Rory certainly has no guaranteed two putt. McElroy looking at uh, this putt for a birdie. He's only got two putts to win the hole, but Raj uh, putt from over 70 feet, so yeah. nothing guaranteed. Nope, it's going to move from right to left there. Well, it's carrying a lot of speed. Whoa. Whoa. Three putt at the last hole to McElroy, so we can get potentially back to back three putts. So in between uh, the semifinals and the final match, the uh, holes have been changed, but the greens have not been cut or rolled, so obviously the speed will slow down as the day goes on as they continue to grow. And Roy three putts, two consecutive holes. Has to have the hole. Oh, man. Got to feel like a win to Gary Woodland, I would think. I'd have bet against that. Yeah, I think so. Might be going a little right. Yeah, it's up to right. And that's that shot you talked about, Johnny. Pretty much to watch out for because that was McElroy's problem area yesterday. It's bouncing down the cart path there. It, that left shoulder is coming really up quick. When that left shoulder goes up, the right goes down, and he sort of hit a little squeeze fade, high fade. It is like this is going left. Yep, so we got one right, we got one left. Yeah. And that keeps Roger Mulpey on his toes. That's right. It's Talk be. about a grueling week. Rog has <laughs> walked longer <laughs> than any me. of these guys. <laughs> All square through three. Been a struggle. The last couple of holes for McElroy and Woodland and Furick and Willett all square as well. Up ahead in the consolation match here at TPC Harding Park. Winds right to left coming out of the southwest. Neither player has yet to make a par. Birdies at the first. Back to back bogeys at two and three. Lori's looking up to the right. Back in a stance. And he's shaping it right to left toward the center of the green. It's a little release. Good shot. 
Here's Gary Woodland. He's got nothing over here on the left. Just a pitch out. All I can do is advance it. He's blocked by that huge force to Cypress Trees. So he's left himself a nice angle there. And we'll see Jordan Speed later this week at the Players Championship where he was in contention last year. At the fourth now, the third at the par four for Woodland after escaping the woods. Uh, not the best. That should be close enough. And he gives him the putt, so it's going to be a must make for Woodland to have the hole from on the collar. Winning hole of the championship match goes to Rory McIlroy. He grabs the one-up lead through four as they head to the par five fifth. Does not set up for that miss of Rory's to the right. Well, that one's not headed right. That, that might be cutting the corner perfectly. Let's see. Well, what a huge tee shot on that line. Oh, man, that's down there where nobody's been. That is huge. Yeah, I guess I can reach the green from there. Well, whatever oh, yeah. you did there, bottle it, right? Pro Tracer technology presented by Capital One Commercial Bank and a chance to pro trace one of the longest hitters in the game, Gary Woodland. Doesn't set up that great with a fade win in his fade with a dog leg left. Let's see what he does here. Yeah. That's the cut, and I guess he played it perfectly off the trees. Might be the right side of the. Nope, Ooh. it isn't perfect. Nope, he's gone right and well right, bounding across two cart paths, I believe. Wow. Yes, he did. Wow, he did, and it's got plenty of momentum. It's going to miss right, but wow, that's pretty good just to do that. Yeah, that's in a good spot to make birdie. Oh, this is a long hitting championship match. Whole locations way on the right, middle right. Trying to hit a high cut, and it's working a little further right than he'd like. It's in that same bunker where Woodland is. So the advantage he had, pretty big advantage, is negated. Pretty straightforward shot, huh? Yeah, he's got plenty of green for the shot at hand. Nice thump there. No problem, Raj, as you call it. That's the sound you want, folks. That could put you to sleep at night. Just record that sound. Thump. Thump. That set up, he'll probably hold it. It was kind of chunky, it sounded. Yeah, it didn't quite get it. He got a nice little hop off the reel really? that got the ball a lot closer than it would have been. Man, he is uncomfortable. I, w I had a feeling that it could be like the Hideki match a bit uh, where McElroy won six and five. You know, it's. it's you're out of your comfort zone when you're playing the number one in the world. Uh, Rory's pet shot is to move it that way as well, so I think more comfortable hole for him than would it be for Woodland off the tee. Yeah, very good. Yeah, and as we've seen, be fine. as we've seen with McElroy, he really uses this tee ball to his strength. He not only hits it a long ways, but he hits it very straight normally. Woodland now. He needs to right the ship. Oh, this is left headed at the trees. I'm telling you, those trees, when you hit the top of those trees, you just hope that it comes down because it's like Willie Mays up there. I'm telling you, it just grabs it. Catcher's mitts, huh? Yeah. Well, John, you made the point that some players rise to the occasion when you play against a number one match. Well, the tough part's going to be to get it hooking out of, a, out of the rough here, even though the wind is coming from right to left to help him. Well, he's played the shot pretty doggone well if it'll stop. Yeah, much like we saw Danny Willett in the consolation match. That ball's sitting a lot better than Willett's. Unique hole here, the sixth at TPC Harding Park, John. There is mm -hmm. no bunker on this hole. The only hole here at the golf course that doesn't have a bunker.
way up in the air, left of the hole. It's a long go. 111th hole for McElroy. That's a good looking putt. Wow. Are you kidding? Well, we saw that this morning when he made that putt to beat Fury. Wow, the pressure is really on Gary now. Needs to make a big swing. This is like a bunker shot. Easy to chunk it. Like that. Yeah. Oh, oh. So McElroy putting the hammer down now on Gary Woodland. He leaves the sixth. Big thing here, Raj, is get the ball in the fairway off the tee, framed beautifully by the trees right and left. Yeah, and I think, uh, again, better for Rory than it would be for Gary. With the wind coming left to right. Oh! Starting to stripe it. Starting to stripe it. Now this could be a runaway match. You, Rory three putted the second and third holes. Gary can get it going. Uh, it's got to hang on, doesn't it, Raj? Too far right? Yeah, it's getting it too far right. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's okay. It's a good shot. Yep, actually gets a good kick and finds the right side of the fairway, so no problem. Help the confidence a little. McElroy in command, winning the last three holes on Gary Woodland to get this three up lead. Third birdie just made at the six for McElroy to. Give Woodland his biggest deficit of the entire week's matches. There's a look at the scorecard. A little bit of a struggle at the start, Johnny, with both players making back to back bogeys at two and three, but still it remained all square before McElroy took charge, won the fourth with a par as Woodland struggled, and then went birdie, birdie at five and six. Here's this from 159. He's trying to turn it back into the wind against the wind. Coming from the left. Nice play there. Yep. And that was uh, one of the things they worked on right there, Dan. You saw that little three-quarter abbreviated follow through Jim telling me earlier today that uh, that was something they were working on to try to get him to control the distance better with his uh, middle and short irons. All right, McElroy. 156. This is a fellow you don't see hit many knockdowns. This is a guy that hits it way up in the air most of the time. Well, this is turning a little left of the hole. What a good shot. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Gets it in there hole high. And our point animation saying, uh, Raj, that you're reading the greens well here on this one. That's saying it's dead straight. <laughs> In a battle of pinpoint and Raj Daddy, I'll take I'm going Raj, with Raj every time. Yeah, Harry. and we made it over right there. <laughs> wow. Well, not going to turn that much. Three consecutive birdies for. Murray McElroy, and uh, all of a sudden he is four up through seven holes. All right, come on. Oh. Well, that's going left. Oh, well, it's in that second bunker, I think. That was 308 over that bunker, and he got it going left, so. To kind of try and tighten things up. This is a perfectly for his cut. Starts down right. It is trying to cut. Not a big lip, though. No, no, no. But he's yeah. going to be on an uphill slope. He's going to force him to hit it way up in the air, John. Yeah. Three quarter shot at the left center of the green. If somebody had to hit it high, this is the guy to do it. Yeah. Now 159. It's not that he has to hit it so high, it's just going to be forced to by the uphill stance. Yep. This is way up in the air. 
pretty much on the same line as Woodlands. Good shot. Uh -huh. Gary Woodland four down for birdie at the eighth. Putting across the green, moving right. A little easier than that might have gone. It flattened out at the hole, though. See if you can get it to the hole, though. It's a little slow. No, oh, he got it there. Yeah, well, that's a good pace. That should be conceded while Woodland still has a little work left coming back from his par. Not a club uphill almost, isn't it? I would think close to that. Go. 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 It's on a great line. Go. He's telling it to go. Oh, it's a great line, Roger. Should have been going in, maybe, huh? Yeah, it's about 12 feet left of the hole, just a bit underneath it. Well done. He's in his groove now. You can see it. Let's see if Gary can stripe one in there inside of Rory. And this is the six iron and as well, and it's cutting to the right of the hole, center of the green. Yeah, it wasn't the best hole location for his cut, but he can make that. Two rotations away from perhaps a bite there. Yeah, that was a good putt. Oh. So Woodland dodges one. That was a pure putt. He played it left edge and it is as straight as an arrow. So they are through nine. Woodland has not won a single hole in the opening nine. McElroy's four in a row from four through eight has given him the big lead. Is it insurmountable? Wind coming across from left to right. This is right next to Lick, so uh, pretty strong right here. Nothing really breaking the wind. Yeah. On left to right there. He'd been hitting it in the right rough every time, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Until not that time, right in the middle. That's what I mean, Till today, he's starting to get it together. Back on the tee now, Gary. Pretty good looking drive as well. Yep, catches a fairway, turns a little bit to the left. Good position for both players. So McElroy now playing first. Yeah, 170 coming up the hill here, and the wind moving left to right, and the flag moving pretty briskly in that direction. Shot to plays uphill. He's trying to hold it against that wind on a good line if it's up. Wow. wow. You think he's playing his best golf today? <laughs> it looks like it. Ellis is on a good line, too. here to 10. Good stuff from McElroy and Woodland, but McElroy has the advantage. He's four up through nine holes with a good look for birdie here at 10. So a birdie for Woodland. Now McElroy to have the hole. Roy got here to the final. He beat Jason Duffner, Brant Snedeker, Billy Horschel, Hideki Matsuyama, Paul Casey, and Jim Fuhrer. Quite a lineup. So McElroy, he answers Woodland's birdie. Stays four up. Fairway slopes right to left. That right bunker is definitely in play. Yeah, he's taking it down the left, wants the wind to hit it. 
And I think this is going to miss the fairway left. Okay. Yeah, just barely, but uh, settled down in that uh, three plus inch rough. And Gary Woodland uh, going with an iron, so this should be that cool little shot that he loves to play. Rides that little stinger type shot. Yeah, he can chase it down over the hill down there, get extra yardage out of it. Really hit this thing low. That's the shot. Good shot. Yeah, very good. And this is uh, in the right center. Should get a kick left. Yep, there it goes. Left kick and chasing down the hill. Actually, it's pretty level here, John. Uh, slightly downhill, but ball really very little above his feet. on a pretty good line. This looks good. The distance is right. Carries too deep, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. 25 feet past the hole. McElroy from the rough. Yeah, primary rough here, 134. And not real deep, but looks like a knuckly lie, like a potentially jumpy lie. Well, that came out softly, but it sure shot did. all the way across the bunker. It looked like caught right on the edge. I think it's even farther to uh, our left there. Yeah, that shot way across. So we'll get a chance to see Rory's bunker technique again. All right, McElroy at the 11th. Delicate little bunker shot here. A little on a down slope. Not much green to work with. And oh, didn't quite carry it far enough. Kind of lag speed with option to go in. Well, that will be conceded, so Woodland in with four. And uh, a chance to win his very first hole in this championship match. Well, you're right, Raj, that one shot dead right. So, Gary Woodland wins his first hole. And now is three down as they move over to the short par 4 12th. It is drivable. Will they go for it? Well, stay with us. So, this is going to cut quite a bit, I would imagine. I remember he laid up yesterday. Yeah, he did, but he's in a different situation today. See if he can play that cut, that should be really good. That should oh, be like it's cutting back. This is really good looking, John. From yeah, the opening of the green. Yeah, that oh, was that. softly on the left front portion of the green. That was a near perfect golf shot. Set up for his cut, and he played it. Wow, that's going to make it a little bit of pressure on Rory here. He doesn't want to go losing two holes in a row and have his four up lead down to two. Match play momentum is a funny thing. We've seen it time and time again. And this is not. That easy of a shot for Rory, Roger. Right. It uh, doesn't set up nearly as well for him as it does for Gary Woodland. Green is right here, folks. Right in this area. And this is going right. right. Just like Way this, right. Just like this morning. Cypress and comes down. Ball looks like it's got a good lie, but he's on the short side over there. Well, that is a good looking lie, but uh, be a problem if he doesn't hit it right in that bunker. I think he pulled that one off just fine. Did you see how hard he swung at that? He swung at that as hard as he did the driver. Yeah, putt that's downhill slightly. Uh, I think it'll work some to his right. Certainly in the area of the cup, I think. Not aiming for much break, I can tell you that. Yeah, should go back a little bit. Just a little louder, and Woodland has cut the lead to two. So this for the half to remain three up. Oh. Around the edge 
in Woodland has won back-to-back -back holes. Game on here. The championship match, six holes left. McElroy's lead just two. Oh. Gosh dang it. Uh, this is kind of flaring to the right and looks like it might need to get up. Bunker. I was going to say when he was over the ball, he cannot have one losing hiccup from here on in. He's got to, at worst, tie holes and then win some holes. Cannot lose a hole. Yeah, mediocrity, the bit he's sustained, yeah, time is not going to get it down no, here. No, can't lose a hole at this position. Well, they can afford to buy one. Sit. Sit. Be, be nice to have one to against the wind, just left of the hole. And oh. Oh. Boy, that thing. Not a good miss there. Well, not even close to a car. It's a good one. Yeah, that's a part of the game that he's been working on with Jim McClain. Paying off there. Good chance for Woodland to save his par. Pretty thick. Good. Yeah. yeah. He hit way underneath it. I think it hit the very top of the club head. Or you could bury one right here and say, I'll take that, Gary. Yeah, you could do it. Got to read it right, though. Very fast. Putt just, just wiggles to the right at the very end. Just power. That had a lot of speed going by, Johnny. That just a lot of heel movement, no toe. He didn't let the toe catch up to the heel. Well, you want to hit it right there if you can. Oh uh, yeah, this should be just fine on the left side. Just Did catches it not the carry? left edge of the rough. It's, it's just in the rough. Not bad. About a yard. Nah, but with the downwind and the whole location hard left, Johnny, it's going to be tough to get it close from there. I thought with the helping breeze on that line, he could get it out to the fairway. I'm surprised. There's a lot of worse spots than that, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's no doubt about that. Look like a good yeah. swing right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a beauty there. That's a little further right of uh, Woodlands, and that'll be good there. Very good. Yep. Catches the fairway, gets a big hop forward, so that is very well positioned. That looked like one of those last summer swings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he carries that uh, second of the two bunkers from the rough here downwind, he'll be lucky to keep that ball on the shelf where the hole is cut. Look for it to be long on that back level. Way up in the air. Yep, there it goes. That was pretty predictable. Hit it right where you need to, though. You know, you couldn't do any better now. No, guess. no, I don't think from that position he was going to do much better. All right, green lighter here for Rory. Yeah, 124. Big drive, huh? 325. Yeah. Club. He likes it, and he should. Controls the distance beautifully. That had to be within a few feet, Johnny, where he was aiming there. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to be doing. This. Well, this is really got to go. I mean, Get it really got to go. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. That's terrible. 
very easy to not read enough brake here. It was low. It's a good call here. Yeah, that was well just, hit. That was it slow. was a good putt. Yeah, it just turns more than it uh, than it appears there around the hole. So now Roy with uh, hole was conceded. Oh, okay, no, it was conceded. All right. So, back to three up. Back where Roy goes with uh, four holes left to play. He's been missing it right on this hole. Oh! Beauty. You know, starts up to right, but it's drawing back some. I think this will catch the right side. Yeah, it does. It lands softly, Roger. Anything in the fairway here is good. Now, Gary Woodland. Teeing it low for that low cut, huh? You know, not so low, and it is cutting, and this up the right side, and this is iffy as to whether it'll be in the fairway. Takes a hard kick to the right, and boy, Barry's down in there. He's going to have a difficult time taking that at that back right hole location. So Rory McElroy, look at that lower body action. Boy, this kid is powerful. 145 here for Rory. From here he can take dead aim, but I'm sure he'll favor a little bit left of the hole. Yeah, oh! smart shot there. Just put it right back on Gary Woodland. Rory's thinking if I can win this hole, we're done. Wind going right to left. Gets on that bank of the bunker and jumps onto the green, so he knows it. I don't want to leave it way short like he did the last hole. Hit it. Hit it. He's, hit, he's hit quite a few good putts from long range. The problem is, is it, they've all been from long range. He just hasn't put the ball close enough to really put any pressure on with short birdie putts today. It's a marathon week, isn't it, Jake? Well, it is. He quite a impressive list of players: Duffner, Snedeker, Horschel, Matsuyama, Casey, and Furyk. Some pretty heady stuff to win. I don't think it'll turn that much. Still, that should be conceded, possibly. Maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna put them out, John, late in the game. Well, one part of Rory wanted to give him this putt, but I could sort of feel it. But he's not gonna do that. I don't see McElroy's coin down there, Raj. Did he give it to him? He did give him the putt, yes. Woodland conceded the putt in the four, so this to uh, see another hole. It's a very small target. The wind coming off the west this way. Off the right, John. I mean off the right. I drew it correctly. <laughs> yeah, this ball working a little to the right. Go right! Go. That's a pretty good spot there, I think. Depends uh, on how sure to the bottom of the bunker. Left. It's in the bunker, so yeah. yeah. Matter of the lie where it can. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it's on a down slope or if it's okay and they got enough green to work with. Desperately trying to hang on. Sets up perfectly for his fade, Roger. With a hook wind. I'd like to see him hit a great shot here. Gonna go right to further right than Rory's. Not by a lot. It might be in that same bunker, I believe. Yeah, well, this is a lot farther right. Rory's got Woodland Dormy, which means he's three up with three to play. It sounds like a bad word, but it's a good word. If you're if you're the Dormy. And again, it means that Woodland has to win this hole outright to move it to the 17th.
gets a nice thump again. Another good sign from McElroy, so he lies there in two. That close to birdie, and maybe that close to closing out Woodland. You may not even need it. Just hits exactly where you're supposed to hit behind it for a classic shot and sound. And so now Woodland is hanging on by a thread. Easy to leave this one short on the upslope, Raj. A little short. Hello. Didn't oh, sound this good. This is gone. <coughs> Man, no reason to be doing that. Well, we talked about it earlier how the bunker play is one of the facets of Woodland's game that he wanted to improve. One of the reasons he went to Jim McLean a month ago, and that was certainly not his best. And now it seems like a formality here for McElroy, who's just a few feet away from Birdie. And you would think that unless this one's hold, we got a concession here and a champion of the match play in San Francisco for the world number one. Doesn't look like the greatest spot where that ball ended up. I'm not even sure if it's in the bunker or in the long grass on the bank. Rory McIlroy won his first PGA Tour event five years ago yesterday at the age of 21 in Charlotte. It was just the beginning of what has turned out to be a brilliant career. Just a moment, maybe seconds away from. PGA Tour victory number 10 before the age of 26 to join Jack and Tiger as the only other players to do it since World War II in the modern era. One swing here and it's over if it doesn't go in. And just for the second time ever at the WGC Cadillac match play. The top seed, the world number one, Rory McIlroy, outlasts them all. And a grueling week of match play.